Hello folks, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I just want to share my story uh, with um, my situation back in 1981 in the United States Marine Corps. I was sitting in a chapel during boot camp and a uh, chaplain tapped me on the shoulder and asked me to come into his quiet room. As I was walking into his quiet room, I had no idea what he wanted from me. It was then that uh, God was setting my life in motion. Uh, so the chaplain sat me down and he says, Ralph, I've noticed that you like to help people, you motivate people, you're always walking around with a smile. And I wanted to know, and this is the chaplain saying this to me, I wanted to know, Ralph, would you like to uh, volunteer and become a lay leader? And of course, I had no idea what a lay leader was. Uh, so he explained to me what a lay leader was. It's somebody that is a liaison between the recruits and the chaplain. So when the recruits have issues, problems, or anything uh, like that, they go to the lay leader and, uh, I mean, excuse me, they go to the chaplain as the lay leader uh, to, to uh, let the chaplain know of the situations that are happening. It was then, in 1981, that God already had a plan for me and, and what when there from from that point on was that God realized that no matter how long it would take for me to achieve what God already knew what was going to happen to me he would let me go down into the worst extremes in life so from 1981 as a lay leader and I'm going to show you the medal now with a lay leader to front and the back this is the back of the medal and then the front looks like this so in 1981, at Par Paris Island, South Carolina, when I became a lay leader, God already had my life set in motion. But again, he wanted me to set my own course in life. So I went down the years and the course of my life and, and uh, did some of the worst things possible to my own body uh, through alcoholism. God already said to himself, well, I'm going to wait for Ralph to uh, get close to hitting rock bottom. So from 1981 until 2011, which is 30 years, God came to me again and he said, Ralph, are you ready to continue helping other people? That's when I um, formed Mastic Beach Outreach 2011. And what that was is for uh, older people and uh, mentally and physically challenged people that my wife and I would help them by giving them clothing, food, uh, possibly like in one case tires for someone's car and um, so God said okay he is getting better uh, but he's still not ready to do what I really wanted him to do so in 19 excuse me in 2011 I continued my alcoholism uh, to the point of 10 to 15 shots a day as time went further, two, two years down the road, it became worse and worse with my alcoholism. In 2013, God finally put his big hand on my head and says, Are you ready now? That is when I hit rock bottom. June 22, 2013, I reached out and I finally admit that I had an alcohol problem. It was then when God lifted me up and, and set my life in motion for today, September 2, 2014. So from 2013 until 2014, I continue educating myself and you, others, through my websites, through my, uh, my uh, videos on how to battle with addiction. And God saw this and he said, he, he said to himself, Ralph is still continuing helping people. So in between 2013 and 2014, as, as time was going by and, and I proved to God that I was really reforming myself, uh, that God uh, introduced me to uh, Dr. Luis Gonzalez. I had been toying with the idea of becoming a substance abuse counselor until I ran into uh, an article about recovery coaching. So I thought it was very ironic that God had planted Dr. Luis Gonzalez from starting point, that S-T-A-R-T-I-N-G-P-O-I-N-T-M-N.com, 844-414-844, into my life. Dr. Luis Gonzalez gave me the educational uh, programming to turn me into a recovery coach. So between while I was training for Dr. Luis Gonzalez to become a recovery coach and today my father comes from South Carolina to visit and we're looking at my shrine which my wife calls a shrine which is all my Marine Corps ribbons and medals and my father asked me, Ralph, what is this medal for? What is, what is this particular medal for? 
And I then said to myself, here's where it all came together. I finally realized what that medal stood for and how it influenced me in my life. It was back in 1981 that God knew already that I would eventually, towards the middle uh, or 60% uh, of my life, be out to help other people, to continuously help other people, to motivate people, to coach people. So it was from 1981 to 2011 that I ran my life to the ragged ends, to the pit of the worst. And then from 2011 to 2013, even worse than that. And then June 22nd, 2013, finally helped myself up with the grace of God. And in 2014, became an addiction recovery coach. And all that epiphany came to me due to my father asked me what this stood for. This particular silver medal, when he asked me that, it all finally came together, that God had bigger and better plans for me. And this is what I'm telling you folks, there is a plan for you. No matter what the plan might be, you don't know what it is, but there is a plan for you. It's just a matter of you figuring it out. So why don't you let me help take your life back? Thank you. God bless you and have a sober day.